What's up everybody? My name is Scott, his name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Customs. And today is the day this thing is done. All yes. your hard work is paid off. Yes. Look yes. at that thing. I tell you. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah, yeah, it does. And it handles well. Uh, there when I first took off on it, down a highway anyways, about 40, 45, I was getting some wobble because of these ATV wheels and tires. So I took them to a uh, tire shop and they balanced them out for me. And now I can go around 65, 70, smooth. I, I love it. That's love awesome. It. I still haven't driven it yet. I think he's afraid to let me drive it. I don't know why he thinks that, <laughs> but he does. Okay, for a quick rundown, this is what we did to this car. We chopped the top off of it. We changed out the wheels. We also put a lift kit on it, about three inches, and with the tires and wheels, I'm gonna say it's probably around four inches taller than what it was coming from factory. Uh, we vinyl wrapped it into a camo. I stuck some zombie, official zombie hunting stickers on it just to kind of give it that little bit of fun. And But yet it's camo and kind of looks, you know, kind of army-ish too. So uh, it turned out really good. I'm really excited about it. And we also cut the exhaust to make it sound a little uh, meaner and tougher, but I doubt it's very faster. Also put some vinyl wrap around the headlights. I changed them up some to make it look a little meaner. The doors that of course I took them completely off, went with a steel pipe, an inch and a half steel pipe with padding, welded to the first hinge of the door that was came with the car with some sliding locks and uh, took all the glass out of the car. The front glass is actually Lexan. Got a little filthy. I got a little dirty. Just a little bit. Look at the inside of this. I tell you. That's not something you think about when you cut the top off. You're no, like, this no, will be no. fun. And uh a leaf blower will take care of this, won't it? <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like you had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Um, judging from how dirty this got and how dirty you got, I think I'm gonna pass on driving it today. Okay, okay. Uh, but it looks like you had a blast. It was a blast. The little thing's got a lot of power to it to be such, you know, a smart yeah. car. You know it sounds saying? really good too. I don't know if I can take this through a, a, a drive-through car wash though. I don't know if how that's gonna work for me, but. Well, I'd like to see that. <laughs> he that's won't not do gonna it happen. Though. He won't do it though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this series. We've had a lot of fun yes. turning the smart car into this like... Smart buggy. Smart buggy. There Dumb buggy. Dumb buggy. <laughs> Whatever you want to call Coming it. Down, I'm just joking. It looks awesome. It does. It does. Super pumped it. about it. Yes. What are some other projects that you all would like to see? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. Also, let us know what you think about this thing because... We love it, but we want to know what you think about it. Be sure and give today's video a like. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, his name is Scott. My name is Scott. We'll see you next time.
at the inside of this car, man. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Didn't think about that. But it's been fun. That's why we got our good shots first. <laughs> yeah.